what can I say? There's just something about life on the farm. Something about it kept me coming back, and you know, I just couldn't stop. Lavinia Ford of Brooklyn says it's a piece she never truly felt. You see, it wasn't too long ago, Ford was inside the emergency room seeking relief from suicidal thoughts. Now, about three years later, those ER visits are a thing of the past, and her days in High Point Farm in Montague, New Jersey, are the reason why. And just having an animal depend on me to like feed them twice a day and you know and having Anthony you know say like you can do it you can do this and you know and it, it helped me get to know people more to open up more. And she's not the only one you see this farm is owned by Fountain House a New York City based nonprofit dedicated to helping the mentally ill find new skills. Each year hundreds of members spend weeks at a time at this farm tending to the chickens, the sheep, and best of all, the alpacas. And at the end of their stays, members say they have grown in ways they could never imagine. The more you can create communities like Fountain House that help people go to work and go to school and kind of get their life together, the less you're going to have any kind of difficulties. Across the U.S., more than 40 million American adults are struggling with a mental illness, and we as a society have yet to really understand how to treat it. So what are some of the misconceptions members at Fountain House say we should keep in mind? Everyone who has a mental illness isn't violent, or every violent person doesn't have a mental illness. And it saddens me to know that social media and some of our like family members stereotype us that way. Now, Fountain House is a nonprofit relying on donations, no matter how big or how small. So if you're interested in helping with their cause, go to www.fountainhouse.org. How do the alpacas help? Well, alpacas are, uh, I'm told, uh, somewhat aggressive and not too friendly towards people. So, uh, <laughs> now I didn't find That's that. I, I will say they there didn't like my cat. Oh, it makes sense much. now. <laughs> but uh, the people are they I like spoke, camels, like they spit at you? They do, but they didn't spit at me. I will say that. Okay. But, <laughs> but the people I spoke to uh, find that the, mis the conceptions people have about the alpacas especially aren't too different than the uh, thoughts that people have about them. You know, just take some time to warm up to them. Yeah. I think that therapy with animals is highly underestimated. I did a story about horse therapy for vets yeah. that veterans were going to, and they were learning how to trust the horse. And through that mutual trust, they were learning how to get over their PTSD. And a lot of people didn't know about it. So I think this is good that you're kind of shedding light on some, a tool that people can use. Right. Two alpacas and call me in the morning.